When it comes to the seating in our cars, perhaps we should sit up and take notice. It's come a long way since the car was invented in the 19th century. Back then, seats had no springs and not much padding, so you could feel every bump on the road. In today's car seats, we have a much easier ride. Padded and belted, modern car seats are a real comfort zone. They manufacture the components separately and ship them to this factory for assembly. They arrive as needed on the production line, so there's not a lot of stockpiling. It means the flow of parts into this plant is constant and organized because they make over 400 seat variations here. They cart the parts to the assembly line in the order they're needed. On this assembly line, there are 60 workers, each with specific tasks to perform. They receive a build ticket for each part and scan it. This allows a central computer to track production and verify that the right parts are being used to build the right seat. An operator tucks the seat warmer pad and cables into the cushioning for the bottom half of the seat. She loosely places the fabric cover over the assembly and attaches it with wire. Then it's over to the next station, where the operator completes the upholstery job. Each worker has just 88 seconds to perform his or her tasks, so there's no sitting down on this job. They install a seat warmer system on the backrest section of the seat and cover it. They slide an airbag into a special sleeve. These seats come with springs that clip onto the metal framework to provide lumbar support. They fit the cushion assembly on the springed framework and pull it tight. They smooth out any wrinkles. This is called finessing. And then they install the headrest. Next, they tackle the lower framework. They equip it with a mechanism to adjust the height of the seat. Electrical connectors go in next. Then they bolt the lower framework to the cushion backrest. They attach the pretensioner apparatus, which locks the seat belt in position. Then wire the connector box. They fit the lower cushioning on the framework and add the recliner spring. A plastic valence makes it all look neater. It's time to take this driver's seat for a test run. They hook it up to a power source and check if the airbag and seat warmer are operational. They iron out all the wrinkles because the automaker will reject any seat that's less than perfect. And then they slide and tilt the seat to make sure the adjustment mechanisms are working properly. They assemble the rear seats using the same techniques. Again, each operator gets exactly 88 seconds to complete his or her job. When you add it all up, an entire seat set takes just 62 minutes to assemble. Before they ship the seat set to the car factory, they snap a photo as a production record. It proves each set was in perfect condition when it left the factory. Now these automotive seats are ready to hit the road. They strap them onto delivery pallets and load them into a big truck, 60 sets at a time. They'll arrive at the car plant just as the vehicles they're made for are rolling off the assembly line. Once they're installed, all you'll need to do is sit back and enjoy the ride.